Hello, this is Fishboy. I just got done making an 8 minute and 40 sec 42 second long video, just like the one I'm about to make. But the camera was tilted the wrong way, so the picture was like this, and it was like, you know, it was, it was like this when you were doing it, you know? It was like, you know. Anyway, I have to make another video because that video was ruined. Anyway, and in my last videos, this, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say exactly what I say in my last video, but anyway. I mean, I didn't even post it. I just deleted it. But, um, yeah, um, what I, um, if there's anything on my other videos that sound weird, that are, um, that sound weird, that's just unusual sounding, just doesn't sound right, it's just me, it's just what type of person I am, just accept that. Anyway, if it sounds weird, just, I don't know. I wanted to say that, and I wanted to tell you something else that I got recently. This is the watermelon red trick worm it is different between its cousin the seedless watermelon it has black and red flakes in it as you as you probably know because of the name watermelon red because it has red anyway it has red and black flake in it it works very well for catching bass in pre-spawn and in the middle of summer actually whenever it's warm in the yeah whenever the water temperature is warm when it's cold you have to slow down your retrieve to like an, a snail's pace to so it's like you're shaking it and then you just let it sit there for like 10 seconds and then you jerk it like five inches and wait like another 10 seconds it's crazy but that's why I like fishing in the winter. I mean, the su summer. Because the water temperatures are warmer. You can make it move a little bit faster than than when you would in the winter. Because the ba bass are less active. They're negative. And they go after slower baits. But. My dad and my friend were trying this. They got a lot of bites. But my friend likes fishing for bluegill. He stopped using this and was just talking to me while I was fishing. Uh, but, um, my dad was using this too, and he got a lot of bites, didn't catch anything, and, um, he just switched over to some of the other lures. This is a really good color, though. I've seen a lot of people on YouTube, um, try this, and they just, like, they were using a, a, uh, like a crankbait, and a bass hit, and they sw just switched over to another rod that had this on it, a Texas rig. I don't, I don't like Texas rigging because you have to cut the line to get the bullet weight off. I just use a shaky head. Works just as well, and it looks, you know, fine. And I just, you know, do the weedless thing with the shaky head. But, um, these work just as well as any other zoom worm, I think. The, um, the, uh, the four of my favorite, um, trick worm, zoom trick worms are the seedless watermelon trick worm, the, um, Watermelon red, and the, um, and the, uh, there's another one. The, uh, green smoke, it's right here. See that color? The green smoke. Okay, I'll just get it out. The green smoke, that's another good color. I haven't, I, I've tried it, but I've got no bites. I only tried it for like five minutes, that's why. But, um, the guys at, um, Hammond's Fishing Center said it worked awesome. He said that was the best bait they've ever tried. But, um, and another one I like. I forget it. Oh, yeah. The, uh, uh, what is it called? The, uh, uh, green pumpkin green. Yeah. And there's something I wanted to show you. This, the green pumpkin green trick worm. So, see this watermelon? Watermelon red. And red, um, green smoke. And the green pumpkin green trick worm. This is a old, um, finesse green pumpkin green it's like five inches i think a bass bit it off right here on another one but i threw that piece away i should have kept it to show you guys forgot about that but um he cut it off like right here right where the hook is so like and just look how much it takes to pull this apart watch right can you see that yeah there we go oh they see that took a lot of force that took at least like six seven pounds to pull that i'm not kidding you it was like these power sticks are really they're flexible and stuff but they're really strong if you try to pull them they'll just break apart like just look 
Uh, I mean, I had to use a lot of force. I mean, I could have just done this in a snap. Like, watch. See, I could just break it. But it actually takes a lot of force to break these. See? Watch. It takes a lot of force to break those. So that bass probably was really big. Should have kept that piece, man. It was... It broke right off. But that was really cool. I don't know why I'm talking. And I don't know why this video is a long time. Another thing I wanted to talk to you about is the... Hold on. The... Lizards. I like lizards because they have a bunch of extensions coming off of them. And they, you know work pretty really well through the water this is a green pumpkin chartreuse a six inch lizard zoom and it is a very good color very good color for bass i have one rigged up here weightless no bullet weight i like rigging it with no bullet weight because like i said before i hate cutting the line to take the bullet weight off but um weedless works i think just as well my dad caught um, a, a while ago, he was using this lizard. This is a mini. Oh wait, I have another thing behind me. Another. Oh, um, this is a mini four-inch mini lizard blue watermelon. This works pretty good. Like if there's you fishing in an area where bass have never seen a particular lure, and you throw it the first cast, you will catch that bass. I just love that tactic. That if a bass has never seen a lure before. <laughs> A uh, bass has never seen a, that particular lure before. He'll hit it. And I just love that about those type of fish. And, like, if you throw this into an area that's shallow, it's a really deep cove, that's where some, you know, slightly mature, um, small bass might hide if you want to There's not really going to be huge bass because, and if there is huge bass there, they have, they're just coming up to spawn. And they've seen these lures probably before, and they won't hit it. But I like fishing for small bass in those coves when it's sunny and the, there's no wind blowing. Just cast that out there into the middle where you see some weeds, and just start jerking it, and you'll feel a little tap, and bam, you'll catch and fish. It's good. It'll, it's awesome. I love that. I don't know why I wanted to make this video. It was mostly to tell you about my other videos. Sorry for acting so weird. If you thought I was acting weird, I don't know. I thought I might be. I thought it might be acting weird. And I wanted to just give you some knowledge on trick worms and lizards. And also, these sort of look like um, what do you call them? Zoom um, baby brush hogs or brush hogs because they have all these extensions coming at them. They don't really look like, but they sort of do because they have all these extensions coming at them. And they're also really flexible. I mean, just look at this. The head is just bearing. I think zoom worms are more flexible, just to look. Yeah, look at that. Oh, and another thing. If you microwave these, they actually microwave these for 8 to 10 seconds. That's what the guy at Hammond's Fishing Center said. 8 to 10 seconds. And they come out softer. I've tried it with these. It, it leaves a little bit of oil on your um, thing, so put like a plate or a plastic plate under it or something under it to get the stuff out to get the little oil that drips there's like oil that drips off of this but it comes out a little bit like hottish warm like maybe 100 degrees or a little bit more than that but it's like it's not like Tah! but they actually come out softer and they stay that way they don't harden back up so you could just like microwave a few before you go fishing and try those out and they're a lot more flexible i don't do that because it takes a lot of time to go microwave i just take these because they're they're good and they're softer another thing any soft plastic that you use, me and my dad put WD-40 inside here. It's a type of oil. You can get it at Ace Hardware or any other um, AutoZone, you know, any other. I think AutoZone would have it probably, yeah. Um, so uh, Ace Hardware, Walmart, hardware store, you know, stuff like that. They will probably have WD-40. It's oil that comes in a pressurized can with a little tube. You probably, I don't know if you know about it. You probably do, though. If you don't, then, you know, you can learn about it. I don't know why I'm saying this, but anyway. Dip some of this on your soft plastics. They will work great. Anyway, that's all I really wanted to make this video of. This is even longer than my last video. Okay, I just need to be quiet. Okay, uh, rate, comment, subscribe, and I will make another video the next time I go fishing, probably. Okay? Um, see you next time. Bye.